Hey, it's Rick here. And if you've got the Avermedia Live Gamer 4K internal capture card, this is also known as the GC573, you should know that there's a problem right now with Windows 10 build 2004 that makes it so this capture card has some really horrible audio issues. I mean, it's skipping, it's dropping, it's it's so bad, it's really unusable. And this video is all about hopefully giving you guys a solution to that. Now, um, the reason why I'm making this video is because I spent a real good portion of my afternoon trying to solve this based on, believe it or not, what Avermedia's Twitter support page was saying. And that doesn't work. There's a problem with what they're saying. And I want to give you the real solution here. So uh, let me hop on over and I'll first show you the issue. So if you head on over to Twitter, you look at the Avermedia Assist Twitter account. They've got it pinned at the top right now. And it says, hey, here's a solution. You might, you might want to have a look at this. And so when you click on this, it takes you to this page. And you can click there. And it brings you to an example of the issue. So if you want to see what this is sounding like, just hit play and you'll hear it. Uh, but then it also says down below here that, you know, there's there's the way that you can fix this, and that is to install the beta drivers for the GC573. And the way you do that is to enable beta downloads within Rec Central Software or the Avermedia Assist tool. Now, I did that, and it didn't help. It didn't prompt me to download the beta drivers. So then it says you can download them directly from here. And if you click on that, it brings you to a Google Drive page to where you can download a file. Now, I tried that, and it's worth noting that this version that it's downloading ends in an 8.0. And when I downloaded it, it looked like it was installing just fine. It then got to a point to where it was going to flash the firmware and do an update. But then my card started blinking red, and I got a message saying that the card can't be found, make sure it's seated correctly, et cetera, et cetera. At that point, uh, I had to cancel out, and my card just kept blinking red. It was useless. There's nothing I could do to fix it. Rebooting, turning off, turning back on. Ultimately, I had to uninstall the drivers, Rack Central, and reinstall it, but not the beta driver uh, on this page, but the actual driver that's available through Avermedia. So then that brings me back to my problem again of skipping audio. So then I figured, well, maybe it's an issue with the download, so I'll try it again. Tried it again, same problem. Looked on Reddit, saw other people running into the exact same issue with the firmware not updating, saying the card's not there. So then I decided, I'll tell you what, I'm going to head on over to Avermedia's website, uh, look at their support section. So if you go to avermedia.com, you can click on support, you can click on downloads. In the drop downs here, you're going to select game capture, 4K record, and the live gamer. And then if you head on over down below here to where it says firmware, you can download the firmware here. And notice this is a different version. It ends in .83. So I downloaded this, and you know what? It worked just fine. It got to that firmware update part, and it updated the driver, it updated the firmware, and everything is working just fine fine now. So the moral of the story is don't follow the instructions that's penned on Avermedia's Twitter account because they don't work. Uh, I mean, let me know if they worked for you, um, but they don't work for me and they don't work for a bunch of people on Reddit. And what you want to do instead is go to Avermedia's support page and download them from there and then they will work. So um, I would say at this point, Avermedia, I doubt you're watching this video, but if you are, unpin that tweet or at least update it and drive people to your own website because that's where they're going to get the latest and greatest driver that actually fixes the issue. So if this fixed that problem for you and you were having it, let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to hear if this video was helpful. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe for even more content and I will catch you guys next time. Take care.